I did not expect to see you again after the day of your sentencing. I thought you had taken the exile's path, wandering the galaxy. Yet you have returned. Why? Your concern is noted. Your friends have not been harmed. They have been detained for their safety. I find it unusual that you are travelling with others again. I had thought you had forsaken the company of others after the war. Or is that why you are here? Your slaves have been detained for their safety. Though if that is how you treat them, I imagine they would prefer cells to your company. But you have not answered my question. Why are you here? The Order and you parted ways long ago, and the Order was the better for it. Yet here you are. Perhaps you do not know yourself as well as you think. Regardless, your arrival here begs an explanation. Have you come to face the judgment of the Council, as you did so many years ago? Are you finally willing to admit that we were right to cast you out? You presume much. The Force does not guide your movements, not any more. Its connection was lost when you fell. Perhaps you feel that the Force also led you to the Mandalorian Wars as well, but in truth it only led to your exile. Why? Because you turned your back on us. And the Order. You followed Revan to war against the Mandalorians, the very war that made Revan a lord of the Sith, and ruined you. The Republic asked the Jedi Order for aid against the Mandalorians, that much is true. Yet that aid did not mean rushing into battle, giving in to aggression, your hate, your passions. So you said, so long ago, I didn't believe it then, and I don't believe it now. You sought adventure, you hungered for battle, you could not wait to follow Revan to war. The Jedi Order asked only for time to examine the Mandalorian threat. They urged caution, patience, and you defied them. So when you returned, you were brought before us. You were a Jedi no longer, and so you were exiled. There was much about that day that was difficult to forget. Your words, your defiance, and when you stabbed your lightsaber into the centre stone. I have kept it, so I would never forget. Indeed. A lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours any more. I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it, so I would never forget your arrogance or your insult to the Order. Become a Jedi again? That is a thing far out of reach. But I am not unsympathetic to your feelings. Leaving the Order must have been difficult for you. Yet you gave the Council no other choice. You gave me no other choice. Life is filled with choices, and when you are forced to make one, you have the Jedi teachings to guide you. So your choice was to meet the aggression of the Mandalorians with more aggression. That is not the Jedi way. Every choice we make, whether we know it or not, sends echoes through the Force. It can awaken feelings, ignite passions, hate, anger, fear, where none existed before. By meeting aggression... By serving as an opponent against which the Mandalorians could test themselves, you fed their hate, their lust for war, and it sent a terrible echo through you. And because of it, you and those Jedi who met them on the battlefield lost their way, and you turned on us. Of course I was. But the Jedi teachings require we examine how we may best help them. Action without reflection is not our way. There was no guarantee that marching to war would have saved the Outer Rim, in fact, quite the opposite. A physical victory, perhaps, but the real victory lay in... Th Do not twist my words. A physical victory is not the only victory or the only loss. You do not know... How dare you? The Mandalorian Wars should have been your grave and Malachor Five is where you should have died. What? What do you mean? You're wrong, just as you were when you defied the Council. You see shadows where there are none and hate where there is none. You are blind, as always. I tire of fighting with you. You lust for war, and you always will, and you have succeeded in distracting me from my questions. And that would have pleased you? So be it. It was only a battle. Exile, nothing more. You had lost the true war long ago. It will never be over, for either of us. But it is useless to argue with a fool such as yourself. So answer me. If you cannot seem to admit the Council was correct, then why are you here? There are victories other than physical ones. The real victory lay in the... No. You lost yourself, and you lost your way. It is the price of action without reflection. It is what we were taught as Jedi. Then you would die a second death. Such is the price of action without reflection. It is what we were taught as Jedi. Without you and the other fallen Jedi to support them, to feed their lust for war, Revan and Malak's crusade would have been over before it began. I know you betrayed the Jedi teachings. All that you had been taught you threw at your feet crushed them beneath your heel. The Jedi teachings require we examine our actions. Acting without reflection is not our way. You betrayed the Jedi teachings. 
All that you had been taught you threw at your feet, crushed them beneath your heel, and you were ruled by hate, aggression. That is not the way of a Jedi. It is not yours. It is a symbol of something greater which you no longer represent. Then you misunderstand its meaning while it is in my possession, and what it now represents. So, you would fight me for it. You are not far removed from the monster who left the Order so long ago. I suspected as much. You cared nothing for the trappings of the Jedi, and you cared nothing for the Order, even on that final day you came before us. So you said so long ago, and look where it has led you. You and all the Jedi who followed Revan caused the Jedi Civil War. It was because the need to wage war burned within you. Echoing the words means nothing unless you hear the source. I'm not certain you have learned what the Jedi strove to teach you. Of course you are no Jedi. No Jedi behaved as you do. No Jedi would wish to behave as you do. Indeed. Very well. Your exile has given you some wisdom, at least. So then answer me. How did you find this place? And why have you returned after all this time? Your ship. Ah, the Ebon Hawk. It is not your ship. Unless you are admitting to the destruction of the Paragus mining facility. Ah, an accident. Something beyond your control. You have not changed. Acting instead of thinking, putting yourself before the galaxy, before the Jedi. Do you know what you have done? Without the fuel from Paragus, Citadel Station cannot maintain its orbit. It will crash into the planet and its destruction will echo across twenty other worlds. Telos was a test to see if the Republic could mount a restoration effort on the Outer Rim. When it fails, the Republic will not finance another. The other Rim worlds, devastated by the Sith, will remain graveyard worlds, devoid of life. And that is the magnitude of your crime. So you still hold to your flawed convictions. If you think to anger me, you are wrong. I have not known you since you left to serve Revan in the Mandalorian Wars. The only question that remains is how far you have fallen. How is it that you are not content to confine your ruin to yourself? You must spread it to others wherever you go. Ruin yourself with your actions if you will. But when your actions bring harm to others, then you must answer for it. The Sith? What do you mean? You speak truly. You have encountered the Sith. I can feel the scars on you. Tell me. Where did you encounter them? Paragus. What would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You. If they thought you were Jedi, the teachings of the Sith blind them indeed. I am the last Jedi, not you. You betrayed our teachings, our beliefs, the very core of the Jedi Order. If these Sith attacked you, they will soon realize their mistake. And if you escaped, they most likely let you go to see if you would lead them here. We shall see. For now, the perspective on your situation has changed. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. You offer your aid. After turning your back on me, on the Council, the Jedi is not something you embrace out of fear. The commitment is stronger than that, something you never seem to understand. Perhaps. But if you help me, it cannot be done from here. There are others in the galaxy who may help us against a Sith threat. If you can find them, gain their trust. Perhaps our defences shall be stronger for it. Take your ship, seek them out. If you find them, encourage them to gather on Dantooine. From there we can call a council and see what can be done. You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Then I shall send you on your way. It is now time for you to depart. I need nothing from you except your departure from this place. I was wrong to even permit you to remain this long. Nor would I wish to. I need nothing from you, except your departure from this place. I was wrong to even permit you to remain this long. Your help comes with too high a price. I need nothing from you, except your departure from this place. I said I was the last of the Jedi exile, and I did not speak falsely. There are others who were once Jedi, but no longer. They will not take action against this threat. Whatever force they can bring to bear, it will matter not. If they face a true Jedi, they shall fall. I have your ship. I will return it to you. You must leave here before you place us in jeopardy. Yet here you are, and you bring tragedy with you once again. It was too much to hope that you may have come here to finally admit the Council was right. Indeed. Very well. Your exile has given you some wisdom, at least. Indeed. Very well. Your exile has given you some wisdom, at least. Then you have achieved it. You have brought evil with you, and it will remain when you depart. I'm sure you would have. 
You have grown colder and more monstrous outside of Revan's shadow than you ever did in the war. Why did you even return? To challenge the Council's decision on your exile? To defend your betrayal? You shall find them north of here, in one of the old irrigation chambers. They have not been harmed. They are free to leave as well. Take your ship, then. I don't care where you go, just leave this place. Leave Telos. We shall remove him, mistress. Come with us. Are you all right, mistress? The exile reminded me of something I had forgotten. Forgive me, mistress, but I must ask. The exile, I have never seen another affect you so strongly. Was she important to you once? We all have our heroes, and when we watch them fall, we die inside. She made a choice once, and I did not. The day we judged her, I stood in the chamber, and she was... She was so right. She was so certain of it. I doubted myself, but not now. She will never make me doubt myself again. But now... Now I am tired. I must meditate. Of course, mistress. I will tell the others you are not to be disturbed. And please, do not exhaust yourself. We can attend to matters here. Did you care for him once? The Jedi have no such attachments. As always, he will do as he wills. And the galaxy and the feelings of others can burn for all he cares. The day we judged him, I stood in the chamber and he was... He was so right. He was so certain of it, I doubted myself. He chose Revan over the Jedi, over the Council, over... The exile brought up feelings best left forgotten. There are no more Jedi, except I. Like you, they turned from the Order, and now only I remain. If they sought a target, they would have hunted me, not you. But the blindness of the Dark Side is well known. If you were the best target they could find, the teachings of the Dark Side blind the Sith indeed. And you encountered them on Paragus. But what would they want there? They can't have been looking for you. You have indeed become a monster, to view such events so callously. No, your crime is much more than that. The ship and your freedom is no longer yours. You and your ship will be detained here, pending an investigation and a trial. Necessary? The destruction of Paragus was necessary? So, at last you admit it. At least you have that much courage left. You will drown in lies before the day is done, it seems. Your admission is irrelevant. The guilt is thick on you. Of course you admit nothing. That would require facing and examining your actions. The Ebon Hawk is here, safe. Its records and Navi computer are being dissected to determine what caused the destruction of the Paragus facility. We're having some trouble with the Navi computer, but I think with your cooperation, willing or otherwise, that will cease to be an obstacle. If it is your ship, perhaps I should be questioning you as to what happened. And why you destroyed the facility and murdered all the miners stationed there. A facility of over 150 personnel, all dead before you arrived. A childish story to mask your crime. And with the facility destroyed, you think there is no way to confirm your story. But I will pry the truth from you, I promise you that. At last, your true nature shows its face. Serving with Revan truly corrupted you. I promise you this, murderer. I will see you tried and punished for what you have done. This is not the Jedi Council anymore. It is I who is judging you, and I will see justice done. Very well. It seems the time has come to rectify the mistake the Council made so many years ago. You shall die by the light of your own blade. A fitting end for a betrayer such as yourself. A lightsaber is the mark of a Jedi. When you turned your back on the Order, it was not yours anymore. You do not wish to fight for it. You surprise me. If you do not wish to fight then answer my questions. What happened at Paragus? I have always kept it, as a reminder of what can happen when your passions dictate your actions. I have kept it so I would never forget your arrogance and your insults to the Order. You always sought battle, exile. Now you shall see where it takes you. Again, you insist it is your ship, but it has had many owners, which I'm sure you are aware. You have no claim over it, even if you did. The destruction you have already caused demands that you be tried and punished for what you have done. The destruction of Paragus gave me the right. Indeed. And how do you plan to seek your revenge on me? Or do you intend to take revenge on all the council as well? So, it is as I suspected. You have already done enough. The dead Jedi, the murders, you have much to answer for, monster. Jedi across the galaxy have been slain or have vanished. A darkness devours them, a new force shrouded by the power of the dark side. You are allied with them, as I suspected. You shall answer for your crimes, after I tear the knowledge of this new threat from you. You would say anything to avoid judgment. 
Yet I sense somehow that you speak truthfully. You are indeed ignorant of these events, or but a pawn, arrogant as always, even against the truths the galaxy throws at you. The Council was right to banish you, and you were wrong to return. We made no mistake. You deserved your fate, does it? Or are these more lies you speak? We shall remove her, mistress. Are you sure you wish to battle me while I hold this? It was too much to hope that you may have come here to finally admit the Council was right.